Golly Vibes family, welcome back, my brothers and sisters. Um, today's episode is pretty interesting. <laughs> um, so I thought we was done with the whole William Murphy situation, right? You know, I, at this point, you think you know uh, the man probably took it in, prayed about it, thought to himself, and was like, you know, maybe this isn't the right right way to, way to go, right? No, 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 no. That's not what he did. There's a lot of pride here. There's no there's no taking accountability. There's a lot of pride here. And there's a lot of, I'm going to do what I want to do. It don't matter what you say here. So I came across a video where it was showing him on a talk show that he just recently went on called Dish Nation. And inter- interesting enough, the Brad is in here. The same uh, lady we showed um, that goes to his ter- church and that he did a b- baby christening for her and her wife. Yeah, she's here. So he went on this show. And with, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and play the video for you guys. It's just super interesting. Um, we're going to give commentary through the video, right? But let's just go ahead and check it out for you guys to see for yourself. To introduce our next guest, we got Grammy Dub, Stellar Award nominated gospel artist, Bishop and my pastor, Tamar's pastor, Judy's pastor, uh, Terry's <laughs> pastor, everybody's pastor. So he's Brett, the Brett's pastor, he's Tamar's pastor, he's Judy's pastor. When you look at these people's accounts and just look at, you know, what they show their lives to be. You don't see Christian. You do not see Christian. You don't see it. You know, you don't be like, oh, they're Christian. No, you be like, you know, somebody in the world would be like, oh, they're just somebody in the world. So what a, what a, what a flock, brother. Word of God says, judge them by their fruit. Remember that. Judge them by their fruit. And your flock is fruit. A pastor's flock is his fruit as well. So your sons and daughters in the faith, people are going to judge you from them and look at look at them and be like, hold on, something a little off here. Accountability needs to be needs to be put in place here. You know why people can still be like the world, even though they have a pastor? It's because their pastor holds no conviction, no authority, no dominion in the spirit. Where they just freely in the flesh doing whatever they want to do. That's why you can have the brat with a whole wife bringing her baby up there to get a baby christening with her wife in his congregation. The lead pastor of the Dream Center of Atlanta. Everybody, please welcome Pastor William Murphy. I know that's right. Please welcome Pastor William Murphy the third. They it up on here. It ain't me. It's the. It's the what I tell you, what I tell you, there's no reverence in that house. There's no reverence in there. There's no respect for their leadership. None. The word of God says you should treat your leadership as if it, as if he was Christ. That's what the word of God says. They treated Paul and Peter and them like they were Christ. And that's supposed to be her pastor? And she just over here cursing in front of him? I guarantee you that's not the first time. It just got caught on television this time. Y'all gonna judge me. <laughs> See? But y'all, but y'all, but y'all oh gonna judge God, me. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> right, did oh it. my it God, I'm a pastor. Oh my God. Oh, the devil use a liar. And he a liar. Everybody, please welcome Pastor William Murphy III to Dish Nation. All right, yo, Pastor Murphy, now yesterday on Dish, we talked about the viral moment that went down at your church, man. Everybody was swag surfing. A lot of people were here for it, myself included. Yeah. Others were not. Yeah. Did you know when you set that up that it was going to, like, you know, maybe cause some controversy or it was just, that's how you move? Man, that's, that's how we move. Church shouldn't be this foreign country that we step into on Sundays, but church should be this place where everything that happens is some kind of way connected to Monday through Saturday. And so that's what you saw on New Year's Eve was people swag surfing and they're walking it out and it was connected to a prophetic word that God gave me 
from Acts chapter three, where Peter and John grabbed this man who had a jacked up walk oh. and pulled him up and told him to walk it out. And so that's how we ended up in that moment. It was not planned. Uh, we had a DJ there because it was New Year's Eve. Actually, we have a DJ every second. Just because you put a secular moment with a Bible scripture does not make that moment okay, my friend. You could be committing sin. You Listen, <laughs> Lord have mercy. Oh, man, this is crazy, man, because this is exactly what Satan does. Satan tries to twist God's word. You can be in the midst of doing sin, right? And then come out of it and be like, just have service. Like the Lord said to the woman, go and sin no more. But I just want to show you guys that, you know, I wanted to make an example. So I just did it right now in front of y'all face. But hey, the word says go sin no more. So let's not sin no more now. I just did it as an example. <laughs> Oh my God! Oh my good! This is this is heartbreaking, man. Because you know the people who stand in this kind of congregation are lukewarm individuals. They have to be to see this, to see the pride here, to see the nothing. The, the, there's no kind of accountability here. You know, you can tell by his response when he also talked on the other video that he wasn't even listening to what people were saying. He just automatically was responding he didn't care to take it in and pray about it he just automatically responded if you can't out so win me shut your mouth i mean like what what in the, are you kidding me right now oh lord sunday but we had dj there so i started saying walk it out walk it out mm -hmm. next thing i know we were walking it out <laughs> and, and the next thing i know 150 people walked out of darkness into the light Amen. and made Jesus the Lord of their life. Right. Man. So I'm First of all, 150 people did not get saved that night. I seen what he's talking about. He told people to come up if they didn't have a church. And people came up. It wasn't like, it wasn't no normal altar call that you see at different churches. That's what he called saving. That's what he called souls being saved. Lord have mercy. And listen to me, just because somebody comes up in to, to the front and stuff like that, it doesn't mean that that they're they are automatically in good standing. You know how many times I just came up, you know, back when I was in the world, just came up like, you know, I'm gonna go up. But I wasn't really there. When the Lord truly saved me, I wasn't even in church. I was in my room. There was drugs on, in my dresser. There was alcohol in my my little refrigerator in my room. I was in my room. I was hungover. And the Lord completely just, boom, came upon me. That's when I was saved. I don't know about you, but I wasn't even at church. But the times I did go up at church, it wasn't like that. So let's, let's, let's cut that out. Let's cut that out, for one. For two, he didn't even, he just asked people, do, do they want a new church to go to? I seen it. Like, super excited about that. And of course, it's caused a little bit of stir, which is a good thing yeah, because yeah, yeah. we're stirring up culture for the cause of That's Christ. Right. So, My glory. Love it. No, 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 no. He said, we're stirring up culture for the cause of Christ. No, you're stirring up Christ for the cause of culture. Yeah, yeah. That's what you're doing. You're stirring up Christ for the cause of culture. Yeah. Now, People who starting up culture for the cause of Christ would be like these would be like people truly leaving their gifts from the world and switching it for kingdom. Amen. Amen. And that's what I don't understand. Out of all the Christian songs that are coming out and that are out right now, big songs, millions of views, big artists, he decided to play secular music. <laughs> like, you can't make this up. And then took no accountability for it. Didn't even think about it. Didn't take it back. Didn't talk about it. Didn't have a meeting. Qu quickly came out with a video. If you can't out so with me, then shut your mouth. I mean, whoa. 
I that's was always told I had a jacked up walk, but nobody ain't pulled me up yet. Because oh, you're at the wrong church. Well, it's not your grandmama's church. Oh, now, now, I heard yeah. you had something to say about that. He did. Yeah, it really, I mean, it just disturbed me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, God. I mean I... Lord have mercy. It disturbed me. William Murphy said that was the funniest thing in the world. Yeah, it really, I mean, it just disturbed me. Yeah. <laughs> he just. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> he just thought it was the funniest thing in the world that it disturbed this man's soul it disturbed his spirit oh my lord what time are we in what time are we truly in this is wild this is wild i um i've seen videos on tiktok right of people who were uh, different people from his congregation talking. One of them had a huge crystal on her neck. Now we see different people on, on stage that are from his congregation as well. Where's the reflection of Christ? Where's the Where's the reflection of Christ? Where's the reverence for the Lord? Where's the fear for the Lord? I can feel in my spirit when I'm watching a, a man of God. I can feel in my spirit when I when I see a brother or a sister in the faith. I can feel it. What I'm looking at right now is a couch full of worldly people, including this man who calls himself a pastor. I don't know. He wants to be in the world. He's a part of the world. He wants to be in the culture. He's a part of the culture. My, my Bible says, be in the world, but not of the world. What fellowship does light have with darkness? That's what my Bible says. I'm trying to change scripture. <laughs> I mean, Why? I, 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 huh? Why did it disturb me? Because you? it seems secular. I like to just be prim and proper and yes, Lord, yes. And y'all was surfing and carrying on and stuff. Then you got breath hunting them. Uh, Why? How she get in it? Uh, well, I mean, <laughs> the bishop sitting right here, she cursed and I don't know. Wait, that, that, <laughs> oh, now you trying to throw me okay, under the bus. Okay. Wow. The see, Lord see, know my heart, though. That was see, an accident. Well, I'm going to just say this finally. I'm not trying to go to church and see Leroy Sagan and Keisha and some damn tights. Yeah. 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 Look, I just what? want to point out that so, Gary's sitting here dressed in red, pushing back against the bishop on all the things he wants to do. With a plastic bubble vest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. So this man in the red was basically calling him out in the way he knew how. And the best thing that this man who calls himself a bishop could do was clown on him. Right, right. No, I'm, I'm just saying. I mean, you fly. I like it. You, you're doing it. If you, I hate on you, but I mean, this is this is Atlanta culture. It and is. What our, our, the assignment of our church, um, Brad, <laughs> is to reclaim culture for That's the cause right. of Christ. Yes. Right. We can't let the devil have swag and surf. That's right. We can't let. Oh, my Lord. We can't let the devil have swag and surf. We can't let the devil have walk it out. My friend, did you hear the lyrics? That wasn't even a Christian remix. You're not just about to take their song and try to make it a gospel song, and it's just the same song. It's just not going to happen. What are you talking about, bro? What are you talking about? The devil have walk it out. We can't let the devil have this plastic red bubble bath. <laughs> this is not plastic. We got to it is. It is. Yes, <laughs> we gotta reclaim it for the cause of Christ. It for the, come yeah, on, you you, you drowned them at a baptism. Yeah. Listen, listen. Uh, All right, y'all. Well, there you have it, y'all. We're gonna swag so far way on through 2024. Dodge yes, the negativity. <sighs> My Lord. That's where we at. Mm. that's where we're at or men who call themselves bishops are on talk shows but that's what the that's what people who aren't christians see and they think that that's that's really a man of god they think that that's really a leader in in the kingdom of god that's where we at hmm so interesting hmm yeah not for long not for long <laughs> hallelujah the true leaders and the true leaders in the in the in the kingdom are rising. 
Yeah. God's true fire is rising right now. Hallelujah. If you don't see it right now, you will see it. Hallelujah. It's rising. Amen. And you will begin to see true men of God next to men who aren't true men of God. You'll see the fire and you'll see the lukewarm. You will begin to see it if you have not seen it yet. I guarantee you that. Glory be to God, the holiest of holies. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I just thought this was such a crazy video, this man on this talk show. It, it, it blew my mind, to be honest. I, I was just like, what in the world is going on? Let me know what y'all think in the comments, you guys. Amen. God bless. Shalom.